All right, I'm going to show you now how to configure Apache for user directories. So sometimes you have a server and you have users and the users want to create web pages. So um, Apache comes with user directory stuff already installed. You just have to go in and enable it. So if I go to my etc httpd conf.d directory, there is a file called userdir.conf. So I go and edit that userdir.conf file. So what it has right now is userdir is disabled. So I want to disable the disabled option and take away the comment from this public HTML directory to re-enable it. And down below you can see that there are some options. If I want to change the options for the public HTML directories for the users, I could change options right here. But I'm going to leave them alone just so we can see how it works, first of all. All right, so now that is um, configured. So I restart my Apache web server. And it reloads the new configurations. Now public uh, public HTML directories or the user dirs are turned on. However, we don't have anything... Um, anything created and also SE Linux might be in the way. So what we want to do is there is a set SE bool value for public HTML directories. So I want to set capital P HTTPD uh, enable home directories to true. This will make it so that home directories are not being blocked by SE Linux. You set that one. You can go and check to see if, uh, if it's set correctly with the get SE bool if you want. Get SE bool. And you can see that the HTTPD enable home dirs directive for SE Linux is turned on. All right. Now, every time we create new users, we get everything that is in the etc scale directory put in their home directory. So let's go to the etc scale directory. And you can see that there is a couple of them. There are a couple of files here. This looks like a normal home directory. And we're going to create a public, public HTML directory. Um, that way, if we create a new user, the new user will have that directory. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a new user. If you already have existing users, you go create them a directory and they could use it. But I'm going to create a user, user add Alice. So Alice now has directory. So I'll switch over to Alice. Let's do Alice. Now I'm in her directory. So if she takes a look around in her directory, she can see she has this um, public HTML directory right here. Um, she has all those files and you can see this first directory, her home directory has a permissions of 700. So it's read, write, and execute for her alone. Now, in order to be able to get public HTML directories to be accessible by the Apache user, we need to allow Apache to get into Alice's home directory. So you could use a C squad 711 on her home directory. And you can now look at this directory listing again. You can see now the executed bit is set. The execute bit allows any users to get into the directory. However, they cannot look at the contents of the directory. And now the public HTML directory has read and execute. This makes it possible for the Apache user to do directory listing and to find out if there is an index.html file or any other files that would make it possible to uh, display a page. So now we go into the public HTML directory and you can see it's empty. So we create an index.html file and we'll just create a basic web page dot type HTML and let's do a uh, HTML tag. Let's close our HTML tag. Normally we add more, but we don't need to. And um, we'll see this is Alice's home page. 
All right, so now she has a web page created. We can exit out of this. We can look here, we can see that the home page is created. Now, the way you get to this directory, let's switch over to a client machine, is after the server's name, you put a slash, a tilde, and then the username, Alice. And we can see that her web page loaded. If we wanted to, we can also specify individual pages like index.html and load that one, which is the same thing. And that is how you configure and set up user directories.